Scott Ramsey, 735 legendary Notre Dame head coach Lou Holtz joins us live in studio. Coach, thanks for coming in. Well, thank you for having me. Okay, so I have to ask him, I'm pretty amazed you've coached a zillion games, but you remember November 30th, 1991, coming into Aloha Stadium, right? Oh, or very, very vividly. Uh, we jumped up on you pretty good, and I think Paul Johnson was your offense coordinator. He ran the triple option, and oh, we had you under control, and the next thing you know, you change quarterback, yeah. and he starts scrambling, and then we fought for our life. We end up winning the game, I think, maybe seven points or yeah. something like that. And then we go beat fourth of the Sugar Bowl. How do you remember all this? <laughs> <laughs> I always remember the difficult game, but that I had great respect for Hawaii, and I told the team the other day, Hawaii played physical they've always been tough they've always been competitive yeah 48 42 by the way was the final score you had rick meyer jerome bettis ricky waters i think we had uh, maa tanubasa michael <laughs> carter travis you know a lot of a lot of people grow up they root for their local team but because notre dame is of course on, on national tv you get a lot of national notre dame fans right well naturally you do but also we've had some outstanding athletes come here uh, reggie ho was our place kicker he's yes. now a doctor uh manti teo when he was done uh prince of valley brothers played for me uh stefan the kicker uh, we, we just had so many of them, and Jason Ching was one of the most highly recruited yeah. athletes in the country. So we've always had great success with the athletes from Hawaii. Yeah, so you did meet with the team. What, what did you tell them, the, the current team, the, the Rainbow Warriors this year? Well, we did a little magic for them. We visited, but the main thing that we tried to share with them is that you have to ask these questions. You want to win, what sacrifice you willing to make? What skills and talents you have to acquire in order to do it? Uh, who are you going to have to work with to get it done? But here's the other thing. If you took the roster yeah. of Hawaii and compared it with the roster of California, well, maybe not Michigan, but Arizona, you had three or first four, there's not that much difference. It's all in the mental thing. It's fundamental. And are you willing to accept your role? But I was very impressed with their attitude. And yeah. then I had lunch with June Jones the other day. He did such a great job. He won here. They can win here. Yeah. Okay, so how hated are you in certain parts of the country? Like, can you walk around Ann Arbor, Michigan and not get heckled? Or, or Southern California? I mean, uh, somebody's going to come up to you, right? No, I, I, I tell you what, they, and they do. Uh, I, I can't even go home and not get heckled. <laughs> and I've been married 55 years, but, uh, you know, it's somebody from Southern Cal. Says, I went to Southern Cal, I said, oh, interpretation, you couldn't get into Notre Dame. Oh. They say, I, I played there, they say, well, I appreciate everything. Thing you did for a one loss record there, but it, 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 it was just great rivalry. So, one thing we always had great respect for the opposition. Yeah. Okay, best, I guess, either pre game or halftime pep talk that you've given your, your players. Can you remember that? Well, we all had one come and go at saved my job. You know, all brought us together. I, I think it was probably before Miami. Uh, we had the little escapade in the li in the tunnel before, and I was mad and upset. And so if anybody does anything but show class, and you remember playing again at Notre Dame, now they want to fight after the game in the parking lot that's fine if they do you say they're coach for me you know and, and that was the, that was the most, that was a catholic convict game and i didn't like that yeah. because not all our team was catholic yeah <laughs> Those are the famous uh, Miami U uh, players, oh, uh, Michael good. Irvin and uh, Warren Sapp. Oh, we had so great That's game. well documented, too. Yeah. Uh, Coach, what are you doing now? You, you left ESPN, right? Well, I, my birthday candles cost more than cake. No, yeah. I, I'm going to be 80 on my next birthday. And I, I just said it to my wife. I, TV, you just talk to you, think of something to say, but I, I do uh, FM radio now because it forces you to use your mind, and that's the one thing. That's good. Plus, I don't have to leave home. They set the studio up in my home. I do the show. 20 seconds later, I'm on the golf course. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> better than that. By the way, the mind is still sharp as attack. Real, real quick, you, you mentioned that you, you met with June Jones. What did you think of Coach Rolovich? Uh, I was very impressed with him, uh, you know, and, and I, I hope that he'll give me a call. I have a lot of coaches will call me, and, you know, for advice, etc. I, I go visit uh, Texas next week, visit Ohio State, etc. But he, he's very impressive. Uh, he, he understands why he's probably quarterback here. Uh, I, I think he would do an excellent job. I, all I can evaluate is the attitude of the players in that room was tremendous. Yeah, they're responding well to him. Yes, they are. Yeah.
Coach, it has been an absolute privilege to talk to you, Coach, this morning. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Blue holes. Blue holes. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. God bless you. Shake down the thunder. Go Irish.